Hello there, and welcome to the Incredible Age Expo Preview Show. I'm your host, Brad Rowan. Joining us today from Scripps Media Boise is Bob Rosenthal and also Mary Hansen. Thanks for joining us. Sure. Thank you, Brad. First off, what was the vision that Scripps Media had behind the Incredible Age Expo? Locally, we were brainstorming this months ago, and we were feeling that there was an opportunity in our community to bring an event that would be fun, as well as a learning opportunity for people who are in their 50s and 60s. And we came upon this idea and felt like the power of our radio and TV stations we could get into the community and let them know that there's a free show and opportunity for you to learn and have a great day and a great time on April the 1st and do it for free. So that's what we came up with. Now, what are some of the things that people can look forward to seeing at the Incredible Age Expo show? You know, Brad, they're going to see a variety of people there. We've got about 130 uh, vendors that are going to be displaying things for them. So you'll uh, do anything from uh, your wellness and health, uh, lifestyle, home improvement, uh, recreation, lots of recreational stuff. You'll have opportunities inside to, to win things and, and learn about things. and uh, So it will be a really full and busy day of activity for people. Now, when we mention educational, uh, Mary, what are some of the stages um, going to be presenting? Yeah, we have three stages there. Um, CapEd's going to be presenting on investing for your future and mm. real estate, and uh, we have AARP there uh, going to be talking about fraud protection. Um, Blue Cross going to be talking about having a Mediterranean diet. So we oh. have all different types of uh, things that you can learn there. As far as the demographic, like what age is going to benefit most from attending this show? It's really going to be ages 50 plus. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this could be um, even children of adults that are going into retirement. So Helping them to plan absolutely. for those years. Well, we won't limit them. They can be 40 or they can be <laughs> 70. Yep. But we're targeting that 20-year range, as Mary was saying, because that's a time of life when your life has changed. Typically, your kids have left the house. You've yeah. got more time on your hands and consequently have more money available. Now, there's other special promotions going on. Tell us a little bit more about those. Outside, we have a shred truck, and it's going to be open at, at 10 a.m., and it's with through ARP and basically it's free shredding to anybody until it's full. That's great. Um, we've got something on the more fun side. Harmon Travel is mm -hmm. offering a rock and roll cruise. Yeah, that'd be and great time. that'll be fun. And this fine furnishing yep. is also going to be offering a free patio set. So uh, it's going to be a drawing and that'll be fun. So lots of different Dennis Dillon going will on. be there and they'll have a lot of uh, RVs and vehicles for you to take a look at. The Idle Lottery will be there with some fun things for you. So there'll be a variety of things mm -hmm. that are very interactive. You can win things, as Mary was saying. And, of course, again, everything is free. And so uh, it'll be a good day for them. Educational and entertaining. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Perfect. Now, I know that we've got a few featured sponsors. What is the importance of the role that they're playing here? You know, we couldn't have done this, Brad, without the sponsors. There are the four major sponsors that we've been mentioning through the show, and they're so vital to what we're doing. There'll be three staging areas. So mm -hmm. they'll be doing a lot of, as Mary was talking about, a lot of uh, teaching. And they'll be speaking. And so people can come in in a setting for 15 or 20 minutes and learn uh, about the variety of things that they'll be offering the various staging areas. And they'll be going uh, throughout the course of the day. So they're a vital part of this show. Couldn't have done it without them. That's right. Yeah. Well, Bob, Mary, thanks so much for joining us. We've got more great stuff coming your way right here on the Incredible Age Expo Preview Show. The Incredible Age Expo features over 100 businesses and organizations that will help you get the most out of retirement. Here's a partial list of who you'll see. Nabbed, booked, locked up. Case closed, you don't know ARP. Because the AARP Fraud Watch Network means everyone can protect themselves and their families from scams and identity theft. With local alerts, tips from law enforcement, and the inside scoop from former con artists. Real possibilities to stay ahead of the bad guys. If you don't think beat con men at their own game when you think AARP, then you don't know ARP. Find more surprising possibilities and get to know us at aarp.org slash possibilities. It's a day of celebration and exploration for Idahoans 50 and better. It's the Incredible Age Expo, Saturday, April 1st at Expo Idaho from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Admission is free. Experience what's new in travel and leisure, continuing education, security, health and wellness, saving and investing, upgrading and downsizing, long-term care, Medicare and insurance, consumer safety, aging in place, toys and tech, and much more.
I had a chance to sit down with the primary sponsors of the Incredible Age Expo to explore what they have to offer. Joining us now from AARP is Cheryl Tussey, one of our featured sponsors at the upcoming Incredible Age Expo. Cheryl, thanks for joining us. You're welcome. Now, um, something that's a little bit troubling, uh, a lot troubling as a matter of fact, is fraud for seniors. AARP Fraud Watch Network. That's it. It's about giving Americans of all ages the tools they need to protect themselves and their family and friends from fraud. It's a network that they can join that will give them real-time alerts about scams that are going on in their own very own neighborhood, their own town, um, oftentimes reported by law enforcement, oftentimes reported by someone who received a scam call and is a member of the network and thereby notifies AARP about it. That's great that it's interactive. Now, tell me about some of the scams that are a little bit more prevalent these days that people should be looking out for. Well, the, right now during the tax period mm -hmm. are the IRS scams. It's very threatening calls. The best thing to do, they're going to threaten you with law enforcement and everything if you don't send money to them via one vehicle or the other. So the best thing to do is just hang up on them because the IRS will never call you. Let's say that one more time. What's going to happen? The IRS will... The IRS will never call you over the phone, never. The only way the con that IRS is going to contact you is by mail. So if anybody ever calls and says they're the IRS, right there you need to know that they're fraudulent. They're fraudulent. Um, this is the uh, Watchdog Alert Handbook, and it gives you all the information about frauds and scams so that you can be educated. Now, as far as some of the other benefits that people can look forward to getting by joining AARP. We have a very active advocacy program. Nationally, we're working very hard to protect Medicare mm -hmm. and to protect Social Security. That's wonderful. Uh, we absolutely do not want it privatized. There's a local chapter of AARP as well? AARP Idaho is located on 5th Street in mm -hmm. Boise. That's where our offices are. You can visit anytime you like. Can you tell me a little bit more about the Home Fit Guide and what the actual purpose of it is? Well, the Home Fit Guide uh, is a guide that we offer to our participants. Mm -hmm. We have it available in Spanish as well as in English. And what it does is it prepares people in our membership age group for continued living at home. One of the biggest things we've found in AARP is if you can keep people in their homes right. longer, it's less expensive to them, less expensive in the health industry, right. and they have a more firm and good social environment. So what we can do with a home fit is make sure that they have the appliances, make sure that they have uh, just the very little things. The neat thing about this is, is that in addition to the home fit guide, mm -hmm. there are checklists that are included that tell you what you should be doing, what you shouldn't do, <laughs> what you hire a contractor for, and what you don't hire a contractor for. And all this is available in the Home Fit Guide? It is. And if and somebody wants it, the best way for them to get a hold of the Home Fit Guide again? Would be to call 208, phone number 855-4038. We'll get that Home Fit Guide out to you just as quickly as we can. I heard you also have some continuing education programs. One of our flagship programs right now in the Treasure Valley is called New Knowledge Adventures. Mm -hmm. It's a volunteer-run continuing education class exclusively designed for the 50 plus. Wow. The great thing about it is it's volunteer run. So we're, we're drawing on experience of hundreds of volunteers and getting their expertise out there in a, a uh, social, fun, non-competitive, but academic environment. Right. And for just $35, you can take unlimited classes. And Brad, we have more than 130 classes this year. We're taking field trips out to Baker. We're going to Hagerman. Uh, we've been to Weezer in the past. Uh, we do historical tours in Boise. We learn about cooking. Uh, we learn about finances. There's scam prevention. Uh, a lot of great classes that really get people out there and engaged. The quality of life as you get into you know, your upper years. Yeah, it's socially engaging, mm -hmm. and that's why continuing education is so important. NKA is a great way to come out, uh, meet people, make friends, and have fun and learn something uh, from a volunteer who has the expertise. Now, do you have to be an AARP member to access these classes? You, you, you don't, Brad, and so much of what we do, uh, we do for everyone. Mm -hmm. So no, you don't need to be an AARP member. For complete details on the Incredible Age Expo, visit IncredibleAgeExpo.com. Here's more vendors you'll see at this year's event.
that all about? He got his 2.5% on his high yield checking. It's a day of celebration and exploration for Idahoans 50 and better. The Incredible Age Expo features over 100 businesses and organizations that will help you get the most out of retirement. April 1st at Expo Idaho from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. A lot of people don't know exactly what CapEd is. Tell us a little bit more about your organization. Well, CapEd's a financial cooperative, nonprofit financial cooperative. We started out in 1936 with 13 teachers, supporting 13 teachers, where today we've grown to supporting over 75,000 members throughout the state of Idaho. That's incredible. Mm -hmm. um, what are the differences that you have at, at CapEd? For a credit union, we're part of that financial cooperative, so we don't report to shareholders, and all of our profits or our revenue are generate, that's generated goes back into our community as well as back to our members. And that's manifested by either lower interest rates on a loan or a higher interest rate on, say, a savings account. What type of loans are available? Much like any other financial institutions, we have mortgages, we have car loans, we have uh, consumer loans, we have credit cards, we have checkings and savings. Home equity so line of credit. Home equity line wow. of credit, all of those. How does one become a member or qualify as a member? So our memberships are those who are involved in today or retired from education and their family members. And then if they don't meet those qualifications, they can always join the Idaho CapEd Foundation with mm -hmm. a one-time contribution. And those contributions to the Idaho CapEd Foundation then are given back out to the education community through eight $750 grants per month during the school year. So those funds are going directly back into the classroom to support teachers and students. It's all about the education there. It's all about supporting those who are in the education field. We all understand and know that education touches everybody's lives. Can you tell me a little bit more about the home mortgage team that you have over at CapEd? We have a great mortgage team. We have about 25 people in our mortgage department. Um, most of them have been in the business for many, many years, and they're all very committed to their customers and their needs. Why is it a good time to actually consider looking at, you know, doing something as far as a refi or purchase right now? Well, right now, uh, it's predicted that the rates are going to be going up. With that, I think we have a great program. Mm -hmm. It's called the Lock and Locate, mm -hmm. and it's where you can go ahead and lock in the rate for six months with no additional cost, and that's if you're looking for a home or if you're building a home. So it's, it's really a great program. I've heard something that you offer that actually says that like parents, when they're co-signing on a loan for their adult children on a first home. We brought out a new program called the CHAMP program, and mm -hmm. it's for first-time home buyers, and you can also use it if you're if you haven't had a home in the last three years. But many parents uh, co-sign for their kids. After three years of good paying, if the kids go ahead and qualify at that time, we can go ahead and release them off of the loan. So that's a really good feature without any refinancing cost. We not only have uh, first mortgages uh, from one year up to 30 years, but we also have a really nice home equity line of credit. No closing costs. We pay all of those for our customers. We can actually go off of the assessed value. There's no annual fee and it's an interest only payment for the first 10 years, so it's a really nice program. Thanks for joining us here, Brian. Thanks for having me, Brad. How does Idaho's Money Show connect with the whole incredible Age Expo we've got coming on? Well, CapEd invited us to come along. CapEd is one of the sponsors of Idaho's Money Show, so we're excited to go present some topics that we're experts in. What are some of the things that you're going to be talking about? Well, when it comes to retiring, mm -hmm. it presents a whole bunch of new topics for retirees when it comes to trying to set up your income for retirement, make sure that it's secure. Right. Another part is trying to find good quality advice that's going to be objective and help you earn that income. And of course, we want to talk about taxes for retirees when it comes to receiving their income. Do you have any advice as far as um, you know the different options available when protecting that nest egg? Yeah, I think one of the first options that people commonly ignore is education. Mm -hmm. uh, when we transition out of our careers, a lot of times we think that now we're just going to start receiving income. But now it's your job to manage your income through right. retirement. So understanding how you receive it is very important for retirees. To someone who's got a nest egg, they're protecting a couple different directions. They're there's a myriad of investment directions that you can go, but one of the things that retirees are um, maybe having a difficult time understanding is that we invest for retirement while we're working, right. and then in retirement, we're investing for income, and that transition needs to be very defined. Now, you are going to be giving some presentations on the CapEd stage at the Incredible Age Expo. Um, some of the topics you'll be covering? First of all, I'm going to talk about trying to find a credible advisor. 
Another part of it, of course, is talking about taxes and how that plays into retirement. And that last part is, what about the estate? Uh, there will be a time where we go and we need to make sure that we efficiently pass on assets and make decisions ahead of time. So these are all the topics that you'll be covering then? Yes, it's all part of Idaho's Money Show, involved with CapEd for this great event. For complete details on the Incredible Age Expo, visit IncredibleAgeExpo.com. Here's more vendors you'll see at this year's event. You're different, unique, one of a kind, you. At St. Alphonsus, we're different too. We're all about making care convenient, even from the comfort of your own home. All about healing with a team of experts who rally around you like we would our own family. And all about options tailored to your needs so you can get better quickly and feel like you again. Come see how we're different. St. Alphonsus, all about you. It's a day of celebration and exploration for Idahoans 50 and better. It's the Incredible Age Expo, Saturday, April 1st at Expo Idaho from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Admission is free. Experience what's new in travel and leisure, continuing education, security, health and wellness, saving and investing, upgrading and downsizing, long-term care, Medicare and insurance, consumer safety, aging in place, toys and tech, and much more. What was the reason for St. Alphonsus' involvement in the Incredible Age Expo? Well, St. Alphonsus has just made a major investment in improving health care for people with chronic illness in this state and for their families. And St. Alphonsus wants people to know about it, and what better way than to help sponsor uh, the expo. Tell us a little bit more, first off, about the geriatric clinic. Well, the geriatric clinic, as the name suggests, is primarily for older people who have chronic illness, who have complex needs for health care. So they are typically people who have several things going on all the time with their health. They see many specialists. They take lots of medications. They tend to be in and out of the hospital and the emergency department frequently, and their families are often uh, quite burdened with having to care for them. And they, they want to, but it's, they're not particularly trained to do so. So this is a crying need that we have everywhere in our society, but right. per particularly here in, in Boise and, and uh, the greater state of Idaho. Now, as far as a visit to the geriatric care clinic, yeah. um, what is something one could expect on something like that? Well, probably something different than they've experienced with seeing other providers. Mm -hmm. um, they, it's actually a team-based approach where the person would come in, they, we encourage them to bring a family member or somebody who is their main source of support in life, right. and then they would be uh, interviewed in sequence by first a social worker, then a pharmacist who would look at all their medicines, then a nurse practitioner who would d examine them, and then a specialist in geriatric medicine, board-certified geriatrician. And then those four people would get together with the patient and their family support person and have a conference at the end of, of the visit where they would say, all right, so lots of things going on here, yeah. but what are we going to focus on most? Mm -hmm. What's the most important thing to you, patient? Uh, and, you know, we find that patients don't care that much that, about their blood pressure numbers or right. their, their lab values. What do people care about? They care about, can I walk to church again? Yeah. Can I have fun with my grandchildren. Can I at least see my granddaughter graduate from college? That sort of thing. That's what matters to people. And so we try to shape the care plan around what the people want. So another one of the programs is the Palliative Care Clinic. Yes. Um, tell us about that one and how it differentiates from the Geriatric Care Clinic. Right. Well, palliative care is basically treatment of a person's symptoms. What's bothering them the most at the same time that they're getting treatment often for a very serious illness. So take an example of somebody who has cancer. Right. And maybe they're taking chemotherapy and they're, they're still having a lot of pain from their cancer or maybe they're having shortness of breath. So what palliative care offers is on top of the treatment that's 
to try to get rid of the disease is, is control of the pain, control of the breathing problem, uh, working with the family members because they're often very busy trying to, trying yeah. to be like amateur uh, healthcare professionals. <laughs> I checked the internet. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. And, and some people have spiritual needs uh, and they, 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 that aren't being addressed. And, and so uh, palliative care has, uh, again, a, a team of people that is available to help with all those things. And that's what our palliative care clinic Features. One of the other programs is the House Calls program. What well, can yeah. you tell us about that? Well, our House Calls program is for people who have chronic illness mm -hmm. and they have difficulty getting in for health care. I think a lot of people tend to take the visit to the doctor's office for granted. If we have people, and we do, lots mm -hmm. of them out there, who right. are not coming in for care, they're staying home and, and not getting care because of these obstacles, uh, we've designed this program to try to take care to them. So it, it's a, not like typical home care, which is run by nurses and physical therapists usually, this is a doctor, a specialist, or a nurse practitioner going to the person's home to do an assessment of everything that they need, mm -hmm. and then they bring that assessment information back to the team. But we didn't want to take the whole team to the house. It's right. a little overwhelming. Right. So instead, the doctor might go to the house and ask a lot of questions, do a physical exam, and then go back to our clinic, and meet with our social worker and our pharmacist and our nurse practitioner, and talk it over, and together come up with a plan, and then go back to the house yeah. and, and talk about it with the patient and the family. You're truly bringing back the term house calls. Yep, so. the old Marcus Welby approach. Yeah. <laughs> For complete details on the Incredible Age Expo, visit IncredibleAgeExpo.com. Here's more vendors you'll see at this year's event. This is Jim, your nurse case manager from Blue Cross of Idaho. Hi, Jim. I have some great news. A doctor in our network said he can get you back on your feet with one surgery instead of two. Really? That's fantastic. Yeah, we were pretty excited, too. It looks like you're going to make that marathon after all. Blue Cross of Idaho. Idahoans supporting Idahoans since 1945. The Incredible Age Expo features over 100 vendors that will help you get the most out of retirement. Starting at 10 a.m. and going until it's full, Western Records Destruction will have a shred truck on site so you can dispose of sensitive documents for free. Sponsored by AARP. Dr. Robinson Beal, thank you for joining us. Thank um, you. A couple of questions. What is the importance of someone's primary care physician as they get older? Primary care physician is very important no matter what age you are. It's particularly more important for those who are 65 and older, like myself, okay. <laughs> uh, primarily because that primary care physician does an annual physical examination. Just like you would with a car, you have your car checked out to make sure all the parts are working well. Right. It's important for the primary care to do the same thing in that annual physical. Primarily looking for early indicators of chronic diseases that could start or any other kind of condition that can start. Um, it's important to find it early because it's better to treat it early and one has a better outcome. One of the terms that I've heard is knowing your numbers. What exactly does that mean? Knowing your numbers has to do with being familiar with some of the most important parts or tests that are performed by a primary care physician or is done at home. So for example, your weight, very important, particularly when you look at it in relationship to your height. So that's a BMI. Mm -hmm. Also looking at your blood sugar, looking at your blood pressure, and also looking at your cholesterol, so that's the fat, the amount of fat in right. your blood. All these things are very important because they are kind of the fundamental pieces that have a lot to do with chronic illnesses that develop later on in life. Now, say my blood sugar is too high, too low, um, what are some of the ailments that would you know, come from that once you found that those were your numbers? Well, if you found that your blood sugar is too high, the most common thing obviously is diabetes. Mm -hmm. It can be diabetes type one, or diabetes type 2. Most people have diabetes type 2, which is acquired later on in life, and this is where either their pancreas is not producing enough insulin, or the body becomes resistant to the insulin, so it's not as effective. 
So that's where these numbers really become important because very, they're early indicators. Very, very important because diabetes, it's not so much that the blood sugar is high and that's the immediate cause of the disease. It's what that does over a long period of time. Right. It starts uh, changing the small blood vessels in the body and starts cutting off circulation to areas like your feet and your eyes. And that's why they always want to check your feet when you go in. Right. Also want to check your eyes to make sure you're not starting to have changes in your eyes that could result in blindness. Wow. And all this would fall under the preventative services exactly. category? Exactly. Yes, it would. All those things are being checked on a regular basis. Because yeah. it's always better to find these things and you know take proactive measures now rather than finding out about them several years down the road, correct? That is correct. Because you could feel fine, but these things could be going on and you would have no idea that they're there. We're thrilled that you can provide this kind of information. And this and other information is going to be available at the upcoming expo. Is that correct? That's correct. Now, you're from Blue Cross. Tell us some of the information that we can look forward to hearing when we attend the Incredible Age Expo. Well, at the expo, we're going to be there to try to help people to truly understand some of the things that they should be concerned about when they become Medicare eligible uh, or when they get closer to age 65. Okay, so 65 is the magic number there. That's now, right. say I'm close to 65, which yes. I'm not quite there yet. Um, what are some of the things that you know a 65-year-old would be expecting to find with Medicare benefits? Well, it could change dramatically depending on if they're still employed or not. If they're still employed, some of the things they want to consider is how will this really coordinate with my current group coverage? Mm -hmm. uh, that might be what they're used to. Uh, if they're actually currently retired, uh, then some of the things they may want to consider is uh, will my Part A and my Part B start on the month that I turn 65? Uh, what plans will I have available to me? Talk about Plan A and Plan B. I'm completely lost there. Um, are those some of the benefit plans that are available with Medicare? And so Part A is hospital right. and Part B is medical. Okay. So uh, that those two combined together make up original Medicare. How can somebody get prepared for this? So again, a lot of things to consider. Uh, other things to consider, Part D mm -hmm. is prescriptions. Okay. Uh, so that's another thing to consider. Uh, the, the thing that people fall into when they become Medicare eligible and they become 65 is they were used to having an employer plan or used to having something that they really didn't have to honestly think about a whole lot because their group took care of that for them. Right. And now they really have to make a lot of decisions. Later. And the best part is people can come and talk with a specialist like you and you can walk them through it. That's correct. That's what we're there for. <laughs> okay. And that's pretty much the whole premise behind the Incredible Age Expo going on at Expo Idaho. Thank you for joining us for the Incredible Age Expo preview show. Take advantage of all you can learn at this fantastic event, Saturday, April 1st from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. at Expo Idaho.